Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you some more of Magento's backend. So what we're going to go over today is the system section here, and there's quite a bit to go over. So we might as well just start at the top here, and first up is my account. So let's click on this. As you can see, it's really just your information for your user account. As you can see, my username, my first name, my last name, my email, and you can set a new password here. So if you want to set a new password, no problem, new password and password confirmation, save account, you got yourself a new password. Or if you want to change anything, let's say you're passing over the reins to another owner of the site, you can go ahead and put their information in here. Next, we're going to go up to notifications. And notifications, uh, basically, I don't know if you remember in the first tutorial when we first installed Magento and loaded it up, there was a box that popped up and it had some information about a new version available. Well, anytime you know the Magento team pushes a notification, it'll show up when you first log in, and it will show up in here. You can mark them as being read. Of course, you can select all. Actions mark as read or removed. I have all of mine removed, as I frequently do read them and just remove them. However, if you like to hold on to that sort of thing, you could mark them as read and then just forget about them. So next step is tools. So under tools, we have backups and compilation. So if we want to do a backup, you can do a system backup, database backup, database and media. Um, compilation. And compilation allows you to compile all the files of a Magento installation in order to create a single path uh, to increase performance. So you'd just click this run uh, compilation process. You know, but before you use this tool, you have to make sure that the directory and the file um, inside of your uh, the directory includes and the file config.php inside of your uh, directory includes need to both be writable before you go ahead and do this. So uh, next up is web services. So this is if you're using any of these rest or um, any of these web services. I'm not going to go too deep into these. Um, just show you that here's what they where they exist if you need to access them. We, we'll go over that in a later tutorial. Design. This is if you want to add a design change. You can add a like a temporary design change. Let's say you want to have a Christmas design or you know whatever holiday or any sort of uh, temporary design change. You can create a design change. Um, you know set what store it's from or what the design is here, and then set what dates it's active from. Okay, so next we have import and export. Okay, so this is really great. Um, if you have used Magento on another site um, and you have all these products that you want to export out and you can re-import them into a Magento installation, it's really awesome and easy. So if we were just go to this export and you wanted to export all of your products as a CSV, here they are. You can select which ones of these you want to skip. Uh, let's not skip any of them. Let's say continue, and uh, in one second here, it's just going to generate us a CSV uh, show and finder. Just really quick, I'll show you this. And here's a CSV with all of the product information, the categories, and everything. So if you were moving, let's say, possibly to a Magento Go site or a, um, a Magento um, Enterprise site, or you just wanted to move some products to another installation, you can do that by exporting them here and then using import to import them. We'll go over more with that and how you can import products um, and other things even, maybe import categories or your users um, in a more in-depth tutorial on the import export feature. So manage currency, let's go to rates here. And here we're just saying uh, the currencies that we're supporting are US dollars. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. If you want to uh, import something else, you can here. Um, let's go to symbols. Symbols is basic U.S. dollar. It's using the standard dollar sign symbol. Uh, you probably won't want to change any of this when you set up your site in the first place. It's asking you what kind of currency you're going to use, and that's going to set all of this for you. Um, so okay, next transaction all emails. So these are where the email templates that are going to live that uh, for the emails to get fired off uh, when somebody makes anything on your site. Let's say they buy something or they make an account, it's going to send them an email. And by default, Magento has sort of a st set standard using your phone number, or your service email, or things that you've configured with your site. Um, if you want to change those, which 
you know, you very well may, I think on most of the sites I've ever done, the user of the site has requested that those be customized. You want to add a new template, um, and we'll go over more in depth on how to do that in a later tutorial, but just so if you want to get to that stuff, it's under transactional emails. Okay, custom variables. This is if you want to set site-wide variables, you can create a variable in here. Let's say it's something you're going to be using all over the site that you don't want to have to go and change, like your phone number or anything like that. Um, although the phone number is uh, in a different part of your site, it's just an example. If you're having any sort of persistent variable that you're going to want to keep around your site. Permissions is exactly what it sounds like. You can give permissions to various users. Um, let's click on me since I'm the admin. My user role, uh, I'm an administrator. Uh, let's go to users, or roles, I'm sorry. So administrators, these are the permissions that roles have, or the administrator role has, uh, resource access all. Um, pretty much if you're an administrator, you have access to the whole thing. You can set up uh, different sort of permissions so that people can use uh, various aspects of the site. So let's say a person who's just able to add products, you don't want them changing around you know the configuration or the pay f uh, the payment part or anything like that you can set that up in there okay also we have magento connect and magento connect is how you can add extensions uh, this connect manager and this is just really a way that you can update your magento you can check for upgrades you can install packages uh, via this extension key um, i'm going to go over this in a whole other tutorial. There's some interesting and some complex things here. We're not going to go into it right now, but if you want to update, that's where it is. Okay, back to Magento. Um, cash management, if you need to clear your cash, select all, flush cash, flush cash storage, actions, yeah. So you can uh, flush your images cache, flush your JavaScript CSS, any of that stuff right here if you need to. And then index management, if you need to refresh your index, you can select all and you need to re-index your data, submit, no problem, nice and easy. Um, manage stores, uh, so this is if you have multiple stores, like uh, the demo comes with an English, French, and a German store. Um, they're both using the main store and the main website. So if you want to create a new store, create a new web store, or create a store view, um, you know, this is where you'll do it. We'll go over what entail what that entails and how you can have like a, a quite large site by having different stores, store views, uh, using the same database and the same Magento install. And order statuses, these are all your order statuses. Uh, notice how when per somebody places an order, it's probably going to go into pending. Um, there's also all sorts of ones depending on the, what your process is set up, but here's pending, payment review, fraud, processing. You can put your payment into any of these states or you can uh, create a new status and assign a status to a state. Nice and uh, useful here. Okay, well this is the system. The next one is configuration and configuration is a beast. So we're gonna take a whole video to talk about configuration as it's really important and it's sort of the backbone of your site. When you're setting up your site, you're gonna be in here more often than anywhere else. Okay, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Thanks, bye.